Hey, you want to be in my video? Huh? You good? You're kind of ruining my shot here. Just, uh, you, you don't care. You don't care. Really? Wow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, first of all, I just want to shout out these two people. Um, thank you very much. Thank you for commenting, being you. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I'll link everything down below. Like, a lot of you like to DM me and I love having that interaction with you guys. So, if you want to have a look into my day-to-day -day life kind of thing, um, Instagram is the best thing because I'm always on my phone, always on Instagram because I have no life. So, yeah. And if you want to be in next week's video, just comment something down below. Hit the notification bell because YouTube is being really fucking shady and not updating you guys when I upload. So, just double make sure. So, um, to start off the video, I just want to say I'm sorry for not uploading last week. I just honestly forgot. <laughs> like, I went to sleep on Tuesday night. Tuesday night is when I upload. Or at least I tried to. I went to sleep and I remember laying my head down thinking, something doesn't feel right. <laughs> and then I opened my eyes like Squidward and I was like, shit, I haven't done a video. And then it was too late to record and then it would have taken a couple days to actually edit it and do a thumbnail and everything else. So I thought I'd give myself a break and continued. Oh, <laughs> sorry, my cat did something cute. So we're back on schedule with my normal shitty videos. Okay, like, you, either you're in the shot or you're not. Like, can you decide? <laughs> but anyway, so this story is actually, it's not really a story, but kind of is. Like, it's just a collection of experiences I have personally experienced being the ugly friend. Recently, like, <laughs> you guys are so nice. Like, so, so nice. Like, every day I get the most loveliest comments saying how pretty you think I am, how like funny you think I am, and I'm just like, oh my god, like this is really inflating my ego, like thank you. In a way though, I feel like I'm lying to you. <laughs> um, and what I mean by this is, I've not always looked like, <sighs> okay. I don't wanna sound conceited or seem like I'm being vain, but how do I put this? I used to look like a bit of a creature a couple years ago. I still sometimes have self-confidence issues, I still feel insecure, just like I think every single person does sometimes. My insecurities stem from literally being the ugly friend for most of my life. So this is, uh, this is what I used to look like. Um, <laughs> I remember around this time when this picture was taken, I was in year six, year seven. And the thing is like kids can be really fucking mean, like no filter, just say what they think. There used to be a thing where people would pass around notes in class and someone decided to pass a fake note pretending to be me of me writing to a guy saying that I fancied him um, and it was all a joke from his friends and they passed it to him and he kind of like looked at it he <laughs> instead of just you know ignoring it or going up to me later on in private being like hey look I'm not interested like sorry he proceeded to get up make this huge deal about this note being like Ugh, Annie just sent me a note that's so gross and everyone just laughing their heads off being like oh my god that's so disgusting <laughs> ow <laughs> I'm having flashbacks uh, he was one of the popular guys and he kind of terrified me um, I was one of the quiet kids one of the geeky kids when I say that to people that know me now they're always a bit taken aback and kind of like surprised that that's the way I used to be because in their mind I guess they always thought that I was the popular girl and that I always kind of was a girl that guys would like even though that's not even true today. <laughs> 
So I remember around this time, I used to come home crying to my mum a lot after school. I, I hate the way I look. I hate the way people treat me. So my mum told me about a story about, I think, Halle Berry. And in an interview, Halle Berry had said in the past that when she was 13, 14, like no guy would look at her. Like she was considered ugly and now she's considered one of the most sexiest women in the world. So I was told to wait for my glow up and I'm still waiting for it. My sense of humor and my comedy was a way for me to <laughs> kind of deflect from the way that I looked. Like I don't want this to be kind of like, I don't know, a sad video. I, I The way that I want my channel to be is to kind of make light of really shitty things that have happened to me because one thing that I always tell myself is cry now, laugh later. Like in this moment, this shitty thing is happening to you. You feel terrible about it. Your feelings are valid, but it's important to be able to kind of make fun of it, laugh about it. All of the girls back in school who were kind of considered to be the pretty ones and the popular girls, you look at them now that they're out of school and they've literally got no personality because they've never had to develop one. They've always gotten by their looks. And personally, uh, one of the most satisfying things in the world is when a guy who used to call you ugly or just didn't give you the time of day hits you up years later and is like, hey, like, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> And recently I had a guy message me and he said something like, oh, if if I had have known you would look like this, I would have talked to you more or something like that. Like it was just the most backhanded compliment I could have ever received. And I just find it so funny. There was actually a guy who I had a crush on for like two years back at school. And he just kept going for my friends. Like, you know, in school when everyone kind of would be in those silly little relationships that didn't mean anything, but you know, they were still important for our age range. But at this point, boys just weren't paying attention to me. So this guy kept on going for my friends. They were really pretty, like the typical pretty girl archetype that guys that age would go for, which was petite, blonde, wore makeup. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup. Um, I was really tall, like like genuinely, I've been the same height since I was 13 and I'm five foot nine. Just imagine these like little boys, like five foot five, five foot four, however tall you are when you're 12 and just me, like, like the one gonna, like I just wasn't winning at that point. Um, so yeah, my five foot nine, 13 year old self just, was a hard life I was living. Oh, I keep going off in tangents. Anyway, so he would actually come to me for advice and kind of ask me like, oh, can you ask um, Lisa out for me, please? Can you tell her I like her? Can you ask if she would be interested in me? Meanwhile, I really liked it. So I was just like, yeah, of course I can. Um, <laughs> doesn't hurt my heart or anything like that. Oh anything for a friend. One time he kind of went to me and he, he I just got him into a relationship with my friend. I kind of helped him with that. And he was really grateful and he was just like, yeah, like you're such a nice friend to have. Like in a way, it's kind of like having an older brother, like a guy friend, cause you know, you're really tall and just kind of like a guy, you know? And me being really insecure anyway about my height, not being allowed to wear makeup, not even allowed to like shave my legs. <laughs> Being called a guy might not have been the best thing to do. Um, but yeah, years later, we got back in touch, but I felt like I wanted to tell him like, hey, by the way, I really liked you a couple of years ago. And he was really surprised because obviously I didn't really show it. And he said, oh, like you should have told me. Why didn't you tell me? And I was just like, because I look like this. <laughs> if I would have said to him, hey, like I really like you he would have flat out rejected me. Like, that's a fact. Like, I wouldn't even have dated me, to be quite honest. I, I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit more, getting to know why I am the way I am. Like, I'm glad that, you know, I used to look like a bit of a foot. 
uh, because it taught me to never judge a book by its cover and it taught me to just treat people how you would want to be treated don't treat someone based on how attractive you think they are I hate people like that be kind to each other love each other and yeah so I'll see you next week hopefully <laughs>